Okay, well, we do have a great show for you playing this morning at 9. We're going to be sitting down with one woman who's really turned her trauma into creativity and healing. She has a new book coming out called My Beautiful Detour. Mm. She's going to be telling us all about it. And I was reading about this even this morning, just going through some of the points. Mm -hmm. Incredible story of just perseverance and turning oh. positivity from a negative situation at a young age, too. So, oh, really, my. it's... She's from Connecticut. Something you'll want to hear. Yeah. Awesome. All right. Overcoming trauma through creativity. You're going to want to hear this. One woman grateful for her bump in the road. And I said grateful, leading her to where she is today. Joining us this morning is the author of My Beautiful Detour, An Unthinkable Journey from Gutless to Grateful. We have Amy Ostreicher here with us. Amy, thank you so much for being here. Well, thank you for having me. <laughs> it's incredible to hear the word grateful when you think of a bump in the road because you had quite a bump in the road. Tell us what happened to you. It was pretty planned out as a kind of audacious musical theater teen. And then when I was 18, I had a really bad stomach ache. I was sent to the ER and my stomach had literally exploded when surgeons cut into me um, because I'd gone sepsis. And I was in a coma for months. And so I woke up months later and doctors told me I didn't have a stomach anymore and I couldn't eat or drink and they didn't know if that would ever happen again. So long story short, it turned into about seven years unable to eat or drink and 27 surgeries. Uh, but I eventually became grateful and wrote a book about it. I mean, that's incredible to hear that you've become grateful. 27 surgeries, your stomach exploded, you weren't able to eat or drink. I mean this with all due respect, how are you here right now? That's a good question. Well, I was, you know, sustained. Eat, but psychologically, obviously, you know, you have food, holidays, you're starving. So the question was, how do you cope when I was discharged from the hospital, feeling fine and wanting to live my life as a 19, 20 year old and on, but I couldn't even have a sip of water. So how did I cope with that? Creativity was my saving grace. I, I had always been creative as a kid. I loved creating worlds for myself, and I never would have anticipated that it became a safe container for me to still live the life I wanted to. And no roadmap in sight. So, is that still how you live? You have no stomach, and that's. I have no stomach because apparently you don't need a stomach to survive, wow. so, so that's good. But thankfully I can eat, and that is the true gratitude, especially with Thanksgiving coming up and all of that. Because food, not only is food nourishing for your soul and body, it opens you up into the world again. I mean, mm -hmm. for years my family couldn't have Thanksgivings. Uh, it was hard for me, you know, to be with other people and to just really uh, connect with what was going on inside my mind, all of that. Um, so really, um, every sip of water still feels like like the first. Wow. <laughs> Which is gratitude. What right? an incredible thing to hear you say. That is moving. And and you wrote this book, My Beautiful Detour. Yes. And and speak to people about what happens. You talk, talk to us about the book and your tour and what you have going on. Yeah, well, well, the beautiful detour, I didn't really find it so beautiful until a certain point. Actually, when I first premiered a, a one-woman musical about my life in New York called Gutless, and for me to write about my life, put it in a theatrical arc, and by finding a, a message that I could give to people, I realized, wow, if my life hadn't gone that way, I never would have tried this. I never would have met this person. I never would have discovered these things about myself. So how could I imagine my life any other way? This has made me who I am. And that is real gratitude. Um, yeah. <laughs> wow. And I know you're going to be touring in Connecticut as well. Yeah. I, Gutless and Grateful is a show I've brought from Honolulu to D.C. to San Diego um, and Connecticut. And I toured also to colleges and conferences as, as a mental health and, and PTSD program because wow. I think creativity is one of the best ways to help anyone heal from PTSD. Wow, Amy, you're an 
Thank and you. I know that I'll be thinking of your story at every meal, honestly. People should be being able to just eat or drink. Incredible. Thank you for sharing this Thank with you. us. And of course, we'll put details of your book and your tour awesome. on WTNH.com. Wow, what a story. We'll be right back.